Hello and today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce Payment Form Builder plugin using uh, which uh, the uh, customers can now create a code for the products and uh, the admin can approve or disapprove the code request and can create an order on behalf of the customers from the admin backend panel and apart from that the customers will receive a link on the registered uh, mail IDs so as to complete the order there and the customers uh, will use the link to complete the order uh, also before completing the order the customers can check or review the order information like the product name uh, the price quantity shipping and the handling charges and uh, this particular uh, plugin uh, works for both uh, the guest users as well as for the registered users so as you can see right now uh, I've not logged into my account here if I go to my account section I'm not logged in so uh, we just need to navigate to a quick pay order uh, here uh, within this section and from here we'll be uh, creating a quotation uh, for the admin so uh, let me uh, show you how we can do that but before that please do subscribe to our channel and uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video helpful uh, do give it a thumbs up so uh, uh, for example now uh, I want to make a quick uh, pay order so uh, so from here the customer or the guest user can uh, uh, basically uh, quote a product from the section so uh, the customer just needs to enter these details like the name email topic phone number and the description regarding that particular uh, product and uh, apart from that he also needs to uh, verify that uh, he's not a uh, robot and he has to check this particular option here as well before submitting the form and uh, the option uh, for this uh, recapture uh, can be seen in the backend configurations of this particular plugin and uh, the admin needs to enter the keys uh, for the uh, recapture verification there so uh, let me go ahead and let me go and uh, let me go to uh, the customer account there so I'll be logging into my customer account here by entering my username and password so right now you can see that I've logged into my account here and now I'll go to the quick uh, pay order section so uh, the name is there the email is there uh, I can uh, and uh, now let me enter the uh, topic and here I'll be entering the phone number so i'll just go ahead and i'll be entering a random number thereafter i can uh, enter the description for this particular product and after entering the uh, uh, description here uh, i can check this particular uh, recapture so i'll just go ahead and i'll be verifying the same and now i can tap here in the submit button and this particular uh, quotation would be sent out to the admin so you can see that uh, the successful creation of the quotation has been done now this was the customer's end how the customers can submit the quotation there and now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see the rest of the flow there and uh, lastly i'll be showing you how the customers can complete the orders after it has been approved by the admin from the backend panel so for that let's go to the admin backend panel now so i'll be logging into my uh, backend panel by entering my username and password so after you've successfully installed this particular plugin uh, on the left hand side panel you'll have the woocommerce payment form builder section under which uh, we have the woocommerce payment form builder the customer quotation sec section and the settings section so uh, we'll go through each of them one by one so let's first go to the settings section uh, so within the settings section we just need to set up the uh, google site key and the google secret key uh, so that we can use the uh, google recapture on the uh, uh, quotation form at the uh, storefront under the quick pay order section uh, let me go there so uh, for this one and uh, after that just tap here in the save changes now let's go to the customer quotations now under the customer quotations the admin will find the complete list of uh, quotations uh, that the customers have sent in and from here the admin can uh, approve or delete any of the quotations as required 
by uh, choosing the appropriate option from the drop down and then tapping here on the apply button so here you can see that uh, this is our quotation uh, with the ID 8 and John Doe is the customer name uh, here's the customer mailing ID uh, the quotation uh, topic need a customized t-shirt and the status for this one is pending right now now we can tap here on the wave quotation uh, link and that will bring up the details as you can see the payment quotation details uh, for the product itself uh, having the details of the uh, customer it's his email phone the topic the description uh, the creation date and the status now uh, from here the admin can approve or unapprove this particular quotation uh, to approve it just tap here on the approve button uh, from the admin's end and this particular quotation would be approved so you can see it's approved right now and now if I go back to the uh, customer quotation uh, section uh, for the quotation ID 8 you can see that uh, the quotation status right now shows uh, approved so uh, the customer sent in the quotation request the admin checked it uh, approved it uh, for example if we view this particular quotation uh, we can also uh, unapprove it by tapping here on the unapproved button uh, so it's unapproved right now and the status has been updated for the quotation and uh, let's go back to the customer quotation section here so uh, now you can see this uh, Monica one I've unapproved and uh, the John Doe has been approved now uh, what happens is that uh, now the admin would navigate to the WooCommerce order section and from here he'll be uh, placing an order on behalf of the customer so after reaching this particular section the admin just needs to tap here on the add order button at the top and that brings up a add new order section as you can see here and uh, here uh, the admin uh, basically needs to uh, uh, he needs to uh, tap here on the add items and from here the admin can add a service and product uh, with uh, to this particular order that is going to uh, place on behalf of the customer and uh, for example if I want to add a service I can tap here on the add service button and that would uh, add a service here I can uh, also tap here on the edit item and I can add the uh, data here uh, for example technical assistance uh, required and uh, apart from that uh, apart from the service that I have added uh, I can also add uh, the products to this particular order according to the need of the customer there so for example I'll add one t-shirt so I'll just tap here on the add products button and uh, from the drop down I'll be entering uh, t-shirt and we'll be choosing that up and then tapping here on the add button so you can see that the uh, t-shirt has been added and now uh, I can recalculate the total here by tapping in the recalculate and OK on the uh, prompt so uh, now uh, uh, when uh, now what happens is that I've uh, chosen the product or the, and the service here uh, that I'm going to place on behalf of the customer there and here under the order actions uh, I need to choose send order link to customer so what that would do is that it, that would uh, send a link uh, to the customer so as to complete the order there and from there the customer can see the complete details of the order like the product name the price uh, the shipping and the uh, billing details and the rest of the details as well so uh, I've chosen send order link to customer here and now just above that I'll have to uh, choose the respective approved code so this is the code number eight that we had so I'll just choose that up and uh, from here I can choose the customer as well so uh, we have John Doe so that would help us to fill in the billing and the shipping uh, details uh, for the customer itself and after we're done uh, adding the products here uh, checking the total now and uh, may are uh, selecting the send order link to customer and choosing the uh, approved code from the drop down uh, we'll just tap here on the uh, create button and you can see that the order has been updated now at the same time the uh, link uh, would be sent out uh, to the uh, customer now at the uh, quotation approval and unapproval at those times as well uh, mail is sent out to the uh, customer and uh, the order completion uh, 
a mail is also sent out to the uh, customer there so let me show you that so this is the example uh, of uh, the uh, quotation status as approved so here's the name uh, the quotation status as approved uh, the quotation topic description and the status as well and uh, and similarly for the unapproval uh, also uh, is sent out to the customer there and uh, once uh, the admin creates an order on behalf of the customer at that time uh, the uh, quotation status changes to uh, completed and this kind of a uh, mail is sent out uh, to the customer and apart from that now let me show you the order completion mail uh, that the customer gets so uh, this is the order completion mail that the customer gets uh, quick pay for order and here we have the order id uh, the date uh, the product uh, service t-shirt uh, order the price and the total there and if I if we scroll down here we can also see the uh, link to complete the order so uh, the uh, customer can tap here uh, to complete the order and thereafter the order can be checked first by the customer the details of the order and if it's okay to go the customer can place uh, the order there and can make the payment as well so after tapping on the order completion uh, link, uh, the customer is redirected as you can see uh, to the quick pay order and uh, your order is ready to complete with the order details as you can see. And there's a complete order button at the end that needs to be uh, tapped by the uh, customer himself. And after the successful uh, placing of the uh, order by the customer, the uh, customer can then uh, check the order details so you can see that thank you your order has been received with the details there uh, the order details as well are visible to the customer there now uh, there's one more option here that's the WooCommerce payment form builder let's go to that so here you can see that we have the orders uh, there or the quoted order list and uh, from here the admin can choose any of the orders here and from the bulk actions he can delete or send the uh, mail to the customers as required and uh, from the drop down he can choose the send mail and he can tap here in the apply button to send the mail uh, to that particular uh, order uh, for that particular customer's order there so uh, so uh, that was much about the WooCommerce payment form builder plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin. If you have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com. You can also uh, get back to us uh, through www.webpool.com forward slash uh, contacts. And uh, lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.